Hello and welcome. I'm Kevin and this is the Real Laptop Lifestyle. Now today I have prepared a presentation for you, a mind map, on what I've called the self-consciousness wall. It's about overcoming shyness, about overcoming um, self-consciousness. And it's probably, if you are self-conscious, going to be one of the most valuable videos you've watched in a long time. So welcome, thank you for joining me and let's get right over to that presentation. Are you painfully shy or self-conscious? If so, the motivation and advice in this short video may just be what you've been waiting for because it will help you get past this roadblock if you use it. Now, there's a big point, if you use it. Learning this advice, knowing this advice, knowing what to do will not help you at all unless you take action. Being self-conscious severely restricts your potential in life in, in so many ways. Constantly trying not to be seen and blend into the background can be so hard work. When I was in my early teens, um, I suppose I was a painfully shy, excuse me, a painfully shy youth, but I was bullied. I mean, I was really, really bullied. And uh, every day I would spend my time hiding from my tormentors one particular bully in his little gang and whatever happened he would find me every day every morning every evening after school in the lunch break in the the the, the, the play times he would find me and he would torment me and he made my life so miserable you wouldn't believe so although i wasn't particularly self-conscious i know what it's like trying to blend in and it's just hard work it can also have very desirable effects or undesirable effects being bullied to me made me stutter. I used to couldn't get my words out, which made it worse because then I was actually uh, tormented and teased even more. And it was a long time to get over this. It was. It took me to my early twenties before I'd actually got past it and understood why people uh, were like this. And I'm going to share this with you in just a moment. It can stop you from de developing personal relationships and for some people it stop them finding that special someone perhaps their soulmate in life how terrible don't allow this to happen to you okay being quite shy and self-conscious can be a very very lonely place to be so what's my objective today to help desensitize you to make you it not bother you so much okay to make you more thick skinned than you are right now. So when people are cruel, because cruel words are always going to be there, cruel people will always be there. They'll constantly be testing and throwing out the odd cruel line. They do it to me, but they're a bit more careful nowadays because I'm a very confident person and they know the chance of being eaten is huge. Some individuals will never get past this, but there again, most individuals never ever try. So you've got to put some effort into this. And if you put some effort into this, you're going to get results. I have a challenge for you. The challenge is for you to comfortably appear on camera or even video. Now, I know some people are going, oh, I'll never do that. And you wouldn't do it today. I want you also to be able to stand up and stand out in public. And you wouldn't be able to do that today either. But guess what? If we stretch you a little bit each more each day, just a little bit, you're going to start conquering new territory. And what seems impossible today, a week from now, might seem simple. I used to be shy. Do you think I look very shy now? I don't think I did. I've come out of my shell. I've learned how to master it. And I'm going to share the techniques with you in just a little while. When you can do this without fear, if you can comfortably stand up in public, if you comfortably on camera or be on video like I am right now you'll have mastered your demon you'll be able to do virtually anything which you want to so what do you want to do because look forward to it because the solution I'm going to provide you will help you do it the solution is coming up honestly so what makes you self-conscious now there could be dozens of different things there could be 101 different reasons why you're so self-conscious. It may be the opinion of others. You need to be liked 
I certainly need to be liked in the past and I certainly needed approval. And in fact, probably still to this day, I need approval because I constantly am asking other people, do you like this? Do you like that? What I've done. And I'm never quite sure if I'm asking for looking for their approval or I'm looking for honest feedback. But it's about what you think that matters. Now, I take a very philosophical approach to this when it comes around to being liked and the approval of others. Some people will, some people won't. I'm talking about liking me and someone's waiting. So I'm going to bother with those people who are waiting, those people who like me. If they don't like me, guess what? That's their problem, okay? Another um, big self-conscious reason could be failure or making mistakes. And that really fits in with looking silly or even stupid. Now, let's get something straight. You are going to make failures. You are going to have failures. You're going to make loads of mistakes. Some people more than others, me particularly. And I like to look at it this way. If I'm going to wear a hat, I might as well wear a big one. I'm proud of my mistakes because guess what? Mistakes and failures help you go forward. Now, looking silly, well, it's you that feels silly. Um, and generally, you only feel silly in the, the in the shadow of your peers. And they realize that you're working your way up. So they're not really laughing at you, even though they, they might smile about what's going on. So being feeling silly, feeling stupid, that's about you. You've got to control it. You're not feeling silly. If you're making advancement, how can you be being silly or being stupid in any way? If you stand up uh, in public and say something, believe me, the other people might laugh when you make a mistake, but they're not laughing so much at you as with you because they appreciate the effort you're putting in to go forward. So just get on and do it. Some people feel very self-conscious about their appearance. Now, I've always had problems with weight. Um, I noticed just recently I put a lot more weight back on around here. I lost a load of weight and I seem to put it back on again. So what do I do? Do I go into panic mode and melt down? No, I do think about it and I just get on with it. Now, I promise you, however you look, it's perfect. It's you. You have to play the hand you've been dealt in life or do something about it. There's an old saying that says change what you can't accept. But of course, you have to accept what you can't change. Now, I don't think I'm going to go out and win any um, any competitions for beauty. But that's the way I am. You know, I'm 63 years old. I look this way. I'm comfortable with myself. And that's what you have to learn to do. Become comfortable with yourself because you are a unique person. And if you are measuring yourself by the yardstick of others, by the yardstick of catwalk models, well, maybe you're never going to become a catwalk model. As a matter of interest, some of the most beautiful girls I've uh, been out with lots of girls in my life, and some of the most beautiful girls have the most awful personality. They sit in front of mirrors and they're nasty and they're not nice at all. Remember, there are two kinds of beauty, okay? There's the outward beauty, what you can see, and there's the inner beauty in here. Now, the outer beauty, you can do something about, and of course, you should do as much as you can. But the inner beauty, you can do lots about being nice, being understanding, being helpful, being useful, and being just generally uh, a great citizen. So you can do lots about this. Okay, what else might make you self-conscious? Speaking in groups and public. Now, yeah, that's difficult. <laughs> it's a difficult one. I found it really hard when I was in my teens, but look at me now, I can speak on stage. I, I quite uh, often speak to groups of anything up to a thousand people. And I forced myself to do that. And guess what? Every time I did it, it became a little bit easier and a bit easier and a bit easier. The more you do anything, the better you'll get at it. They say that repetition is the mother to perfection. OK, so just do it. You might feel self-conscious about being different. My goodness, you're not going to find anyone who's more different than me. But you really want to be normal. I mean, I'm weird. I'm strange. I live life on by my, my, my own yardstick. I live a lot my life by my rules. I do what I want. I do it when I want to. I don't have to jump around to anybody else's rules. That makes me different. I'm quite happy and glad that's the way I am. OK, so we know what makes you self-conscious. You need to overcome those particular things. So let's get into understanding.
I used to wonder why co-workers could be so unkind. Now, I'm very lucky. I've lived life on, uh, my, by my standards all of my life. And I've only ever had um, a couple of proper jobs, if you read me. And what I soon realized was that when it came around to proper jobs, it wasn't friendship that was attracting together. It was a common paycheck. And if it wasn't a very good job, people were very bitter generally they were unhappy and they were all trying to make more of their life and as a result they used to gnaw on each other so if it's at work you can ignore them you don't have to have anything to do with them and i'm going to show you a solution in just a moment and people are very often cruel and need to laugh because well it makes them stand out more as normal and why do they pick on you generally because you well, there's no volunteers uh, sorry there are no victims in life there are only volunteers. And if you stand out as uh, somebody who's going to be easy to tease and make uh, fun of, then they're going to pick on you. So you're the volunteer. You're the one who's acting shy. And for that reason, you become an easy target. They see you as weak. It's the law of the jungle out there. Um, the lion doesn't go out and pick the healthiest wildebeest to pull down because he's like to get hurt himself he goes and looks for the young or the old and the infirm so if you act weak then don't be surprised when people go after you so what you need to do is prove them wrong you're not weak and i'm going to give you a few ways of standing up for yourself in just a moment they're trying to be seen as normal and fit in now generally such individuals are really insecure and uncomfortable with themselves they're, they're just not happy they might seem that way so they think by being loud and being uh, offensive being aggressive uh makes them more normal actually it makes them stand out more than you do but for the wrong reasons but it takes us a long time to realize that that's why they're overreacting are they cruel to make you feel bad or are they cruel to make themselves feel better when somebody uh, made this comment once, it really made me think. And I think when people want to make fun of you, they want to stand out, so they want to use you the butt of the joke to elevate themselves. It is about making themselves feel better. You're just a stepping stone. They're not particularly trying to get at you, but they're trying to elevate themselves. So just keep that in mind. Deep down, people who are going to make fun of you in a nasty and cruel sense, well, they're sad and they're bullies. Let me say that again. They're sad and they are bullies. So who wants to be normal anyway? Seriously, do you want to be normal? You're probably saying yes right now, but think of this in a different way. Normal is being part of the flock. It's the shepherd who stands out. Turkeys hang around the farmyards in flocks while they're waiting their big day. And it's uh, late October right now, so Christmas and Thanksgiving is coming. Where eagles, they saw high above. And you don't usually see eagles in flocks. You might occasionally see them in twos, but they saw above. They're, they are the odd one out. So which would you prefer to be? Would you prefer to be the shepherd or part of the flock? Would you prefer to be the eagle? Or would you prefer to be the turkey waiting for Christmas? No contest, I think. So let's get to that solution. You need to step right out of your comfort zone. So whatever it is that you're feeling self-conscious about, could be a collection of things, you need to stretch outside your box. If this way you're comfortable right now, you need to stretch yourself a little bit this way, a little bit that way. And do it a bit each day. It doesn't have to be a lot, but just a little bit. Make yourself feel uncomfortable every day because you've stretched yourself and the next day stretch yourself a little bit more now you have to be consistent here remember a lot of people stay self-conscious and let self-consciousness ruin their life because they never do much about it this is your opportunity to do something about it you're going to stretch yourself a little bit more each and every day so whatever it is you're stretching yourself on get used to it gradually and let it become a bit more difficult every day push yourself a bit more every day you see what you're doing here is you're developing mental muscles you're taking yourself right outside your comfort zone and well done for doing it because it's not easy but guess what every time you do it it gets a little bit easier and a little bit easier and what would seem impossible today in just a few days from now or a week from now it will seem commonplace to you because you've been doing it and it will become a habit.
it will get easier. So that's why you need to get outside your comfort zone and you need to stretch yourself. Remember, people pick on you because they think you're weak. Well, don't let others hurt you. You do need to do something. At the moment, you probably react. If somebody says something bad, you probably, or says something to you, you might go red. Oh, by the way, before we go into that, let me tell you something about somebody I knew who went red, who stretched themselves a little bit each day. They took them outside the comfort zone. They didn't want to go red. They didn't like to be looked in the face by other people. They used to get very embarrassed. Well, they use this principle, I actually know this person, and they stretch themselves and stretch themselves. And within a few days, they could look you in the eye and they would never get embarrassed anymore. They never went red. That was the last time they went red. OK, so this really works. So don't let others hurt you. So rather than reacting and going red or looking hurt and look, crying or whatever it is you do, that's reacting. You have the choice here. You can either react or you can respond. And you can choose how to respond. And I'm going to give you a few great ways of responding in just a moment. So mind your own business. Keep focus on what is in front of you. What's right there in front of you, okay? Switch yourself off completely to the comments of others. Think about it. But don't let it hurt you. Just don't let it hurt you. These are cruel people. You know they are. And decide how you are going to respond, not react. Now, my mother taught me something really powerful many, many years ago. She said, be nice to those people who are tormenting you. I couldn't understand why to start off, but I did try it. And I soon realized that when somebody's not being nice to you, when they're tormenting you, when you put, you know they're trying to hurt you. If you're nice and you totally ignore the fact they're trying to hurt you and you're really nice, they don't like it. And the nicer you get, the more they dislike it. Now, you might decide to just go right above it and ignore them completely. This would be your choice. But that's not really giving them a lesson. That's not showing them that you're not going to take this anymore. By being nice to your tormentors, you're actually showing that you're not going to take this anymore. And it starts to make them feel bad, them feel stupid. Even better, be understanding and agreeable with them. Oh, you, you think I'm fat? Well, you know, I'm really impressed that you noticed that because not many people do. You know, thanks for telling me about that. I need reminding. Would you remind me regularly? God, that'll piss them off. Excuse my language, but believe me, that'll piss them off. Be agreeable. You're so right. You are so right. Yeah, I am stupid. And how many times do you think they're going to pick on you after that? Not many, I tell you. If you become self conscious while speaking, to others or in the company of others, here's a little tip and it really works. Slow down and imagine them naked, all of them. Just imagine them naked. Listen to what they're saying, be prepared to answer them. And I think you'll find it hard not to have a smile come to your face. Now, this, when you have a smile on your face, it stops people reading you. They can't, they can't read your true feeling. So if you believe people are naked, I don't think you're doing anything wrong here. It's just a self-defense mechanism. If you um, believe them naked, then you, you, you're going to get the advantage on them. Um, I was actually taught to believe all men are wearing bras on the outside of their clothing. And that I found absolutely hilarious. And I found it really easy to speak to groups, looking at them like that. And I'd be smiling and I'd be getting mischievous and I'd be enjoying the situation. And you will also, if you can conquer this very, very simple technique. So when you're talking to people, uh, especially those who are being a bit difficult with you, just imagine they're naked and smile at them because it does not allow them to read your feelings. Please accept you are gonna make a fool of yourself from time to time. Uh, with me quite often. I've probably made a fool of myself 10 times already in this video. I won't say I don't care because I do care. But there's those people who like me, those that won't. If you don't like me, well, thanks for the time you've been here. Bye-bye for now. If you do like me, well, there's more to come. Every step, every one of these techniques that I just shared with you will take you forward and they're going to make you feel great inside. They're going to make you feel great about you because guess what? You know that you're growing. You're getting stronger every day. And keep it up every day and you'll go to some very great heights in the near future. The more you stretch yourself, the less 
less, see, I make mistakes, the less self-conscious you will become. Please remember, life is there to be embraced, not hidden from. Do any of this and you will be admired for your effort. I really hope that helps. So do you have any comments or questions? Because if you do, right below this video, there is a place for you to write them down. Um, write them as fully as possible and I will answer them for you. Did you enjoy this video? Now, this is something I really need to know. If you like this video, then I'll probably make more like them. So how you can help me is again, right below this video, you will see a blue thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, please click that for me because that is direct feedback. That tells me that you enjoy it. More importantly, please subscribe to this channel. Again, right below this video, there's a red subscribe button. If you click that, it will be really good for me. It'll be good for you also, because when you come to your YouTube channel, if you push the little uh, bell there, it will keep you informed of every time I've made a new video. So rather than having to go hunting for it, and find out and if I go to my channel and dig through and see if there are any new videos, it'll tell you the new videos I've made and I make new ones every week. So please click that subscribe button right now. Finally, please stay informed. I have a, a profit generating email list. Now I presume that you're here because you want to make money from the internet. You want to discover a way of making money from working from home, your own small business. And I can help you do that. Because if you join my list, all you have to do is click this link directly below the video. It'll take you through to this page. Then you just click subscribe. Subscribe to my list and I'll keep you informed. I'll keep you entertained and I'll keep you up to date. I'll give you all kinds of benefits. And if it's not for you, you can unsubscribe at any time and we can still remain friends. So I look forward to speaking to you again shortly, either in the next video or perhaps directly one of my emails, which will keep you informed of every new video I make. Until then, thank you for your time. Bye bye for now.